So the factors affecting the design of compression members. The first one is length of the member, second end conditions. I think you are very familiar with end conditions which we have seen in our previous session that is hinge, comma roller or pinned or fixed or free. Third one is cross sectional shape which is like rod or circular or flat or rectangular I section or T section or built up section or channel section comes under the cross sectional shape and the last one is the characteristics of the material etc. So these are the some of the factors which are going to affect the design of strength of compression members. The failures of compression members as follows. The first one squashing failure where you can see the example for squashing failure in your right hand side. Next, overall flexural buckling. Third one, torsional buckling. The last type of failure of compression members that is local buckling. So these are the some of the failures of compression members. So let us calculate some numerical problems on compression members. So so the problems on compression members we can classify into three types. So that is design of columns, design of angle struts. Again in angle struts we are going to design a single angle and double angle and the last one that is the design of slab bases. So in, in these numerical problems we are going to expect four long answer type questions or three. So this design of columns, design of angle struts and design of slab bases are one of the important topics in compression members. So now let us discuss about design of columns. 